Hello, I'm Mikana Staff. This is Jarelle Shea, back at you with a second video for my English lab. The topic of this video is how to create courses on my English lab and how to find the codes to share with your students. All right, so here you see that I'm on my English lab. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Now this assumes that you already have created a registration for yourself. You've already put in the access codes that give you access to these courses here that you see on the left. If you do not have that so far, please see the other video, my first video about how to create a registration and about how to enter the access codes. So I am going to show you how to create a course on my English lab and generate the student code. So I just went to settings after I signed in and I'm going to course management. And here you can see I've created one course already, name being Amikana, okay? I associated with big English level five. It's a fake class. I was just curious. So now I'll show you how to do it. But of course, the example that I'm creating is also fake. So just keep that in mind. So what you'll want to do, I'm under my settings, under course management, going to go to the button that says create a new course. Okay. So you see you have three options here, new course, new course based upon an existing course, or new course with an existing group of students and a new product. We're going to just select new course and hit next. Okay. So now it says here enter course details course name. I'm going to make up another course. Okay, So my course is going to be called, um, let's say, 2AD um, Monday 4 p.m. Okay, So now, what does that mean? You want your course details to be as specific as possible, especially if you're teaching more than one course or even more than one course on the same day of the week. So I'm teaching level two adults on Mondays at 4 p.m., all right? So try to put the level, the age group, the day that you're teaching, and the time that you're teaching, just so that this is really easy for you to reference in the future. For course end date, I'm going to select a date at the end of November. Oh, you see, I just went way too far. I'm in 2018 already. All right, let's get back to reality here. Okay, let's say December 1st, just to be safe. Um, just match it to the academic calendar. Um, and then you're going to select whatever product you're using in that course from the drop down menu. Now, you notice I have access to all of the courses. If you do not see anything here under product, that means you do not have access to any of the curricula yet. In that case, you'll want to go back to my other video to see how to add access to the different curricula. So I'm going to select, uh, let's say, top notch level two, and then I'm going to hit submit. So this is a fake course, but you see it created it for me. So level two, adults, Monday at 4 p.m. was created. Here's my course ID, all right? So now this course ID, SAL6-JM20, et cetera, et cetera, is what I will give to my students so that they can access the course online, okay? So I would just control copy and then share it with my students in class. Um, I will also be making a video to show your students how to log in as well. Um, and I can go as far as to giving them a course to log into. So please remember, all right, now you can see once you hit OK, it'll show up under your course management. So I have my original fake class here, one Amikana, and then my second one that I just created, 2AD Monday 4 p.m., right? And here's the course ID right there for you, all right? So as you're having your students register and sign in, they will be asked for an access code just like you were. And so in the place of the access code, you'll put this course ID. 
and then students will be able to access the course that you have created. I hope this is clear. Um, if it's not, watch it again <laughs> or send me a WhatsApp message and let's create a date to talk about it. Also, please feel free to reference the documents that I've created with instructions for these processes. Thank you very much for listening. Good luck.